Uh, my name is Panek Jakubalze, and I'm the student of the uh, first technical uh, mechatronical school in Warsaw, uh, and I'm in the fourth grade. Mm, this, uh, yes, and uh, I during this school I achieved uh, some many uh, things. I participated this year in many uh, uh, in many courses and I have some of my uh, certifications on the screen and that's the most important for me and hardest to get for me uh, certifications where on the left you can see a project management uh, certificate that I achieved during a few days course where we were learning about the theory behind uh, project management uh, in the Prince2 Foundation uh, methodology. In the middle, you can see a more technical uh, certificate. It's from the Bosch Rexroth, where we had uh, about hydraulics. Uh, we went to the company and we had three days, if I'm correct, uh, of uh, learning about uh, how how, it, how the hydraulics work, and we had some practical uh, situations as well where we were. Uh, creating some small uh, devices uh, with hydraulics and on the right you can see my latest uh, certification and it's SEP so it's Polish uh, electrical certificate that lets me work with up to 1000 volts. Uh, despite that I have uh, also achieved a certificate from robotics uh, Fluid Sim, what is a program to simulate pneumatics and hydraulics. And in two days, I'm going to the Erasmus Plus program uh, to the Finland. Over, I will have one month of practice at the Oulu University. And during this whole recent year, I achieved the finals of uh, Polish uh, PLC programming uh, competition. And in the TIA master uh, category, what uh, put me in the one of eight best uh, persons in the for country uh, for PLC programming uh, in the middle school category. And this year I'm going for four categories. Recent year I went for just for two. Uh, and the qualification ends in like a week and I have to send my application and then we will see if I um, achieved uh, my place in finals. Uh, but uh, the main thing that I would like to tell you about is actually my passions which are 3D printing and together with that mechanical engineering. And I in my free time I'm realizing some projects and which I have on this presentation and what you can see here is my one of my latest and most advanced uh, projects I realized and it's a planetary gearbox for that remote controlled tank that I was creating for the uh, and a steep uh, a scholarship uh, program uh, that would give me a place in uh, NASA uh, uh, learning uh, building. I don't know. I I can find a word for that, but I would go to Alabama for a week and uh, go to NASA's uh, uh, buildings and learn. I don't know what because they didn't uh, yeah, tell me. I'm, but, I'm uh, sorry for interrupt, but uh, are you aware? Are you aware that you are already in overtime? Overtime? Oh, yep. so, so sorry. Okay, so the time I will just. This very fast. <laughs> yes, it, it was five minutes already. Yes. Oh, so I have to stop, right? Uh, I can't hear oh, you. Uh, please, Could please, you. Please finish, but we'll okay. to, to do it within. Okay, so I will just skip to the most important part for me. And I right now I'm realizing my project that I will. I hope I will sell it. And it's a three D printed caps, uh, with designs you can see on the screen. Uh, these these are some small 
differences and the right one is for glass and the left one is for metal insert and i hope i will start selling it uh, in two months maybe uh, and maybe something uh, i will achieve something from that and that's the most important things i would say so it's it's all from my side Panek, uh, hello, thank you very much for the presentation. I'm uh, impressed by the number and quality of activities you, you are in. And my question is about the uh, community or social benefits from your activity uh, today and what uh, environmental benefit can it be uh, for your community if you travel to California? So, if I travel to California, uh, right now I'm creating, I'm starting to create together with my friend in school, a uh, uh, mechatronical club where we aim to learn on other people, other um, students in my school about 3D printing and help them realize the project. So, if my visit in California will give me a lot of knowledge and uh, useful knowledge that I would like to share with other people as well as I would tell them that anything is possible maybe motivate them to participate in your program in the next years and help them Right. Thanks. I think I think it's my turn to ask you a question. So uh, you point out many projects from various fields in your essay and your resume. So in many of them, I assume you had to work in a, in a group. Uh, and as we know, tensions and differences of opinion arise in a group. So could you tell us um, how do you deal with such situations and how would you solve a problem in a group? Perhaps you may have an example from your life, from all the projects you mentioned uh, in in documents um well i i don't have an example uh, right now i can't find any uh, about the conflict but the thing i would like to do if the, any conflict occurs in the group is to try to understand both sides of the conflict uh, both uh, what they're thinking why they're thinking like that and maybe even write it on a whiteboard so everybody in the group can see uh, what everybody thinks uh, and then I would li uh, try to find maybe a solution that will be okay for the both sides and or may or anything that can uh, help release the tension in the group. Like uh, maybe we can just rest for a minute and then think again about it. And the main thing that I would like to achieve is to... Uh, Get rid of get rid of bad emotions during the conflict, so it will be more like discussion than a conflict. Uh, okay, yeah, thank maybe you. Maybe we'll work out something from that. Thank you very much, uh, Franciszek. How you want to share uh, your experience with uh, your colleagues when you come back from California? Uh, so, uh, uh, how I would like to do that is to in the. Uh, club uh, in the uh, mechatronical club uh, that i hope i will manage to create because it's not really ready yet uh, is there any club or there you will be meetings uh, again could you repeat, uh, please? is there the club or you are going to create the club uh, i'm creating it right now uh, okay i'm waiting for the direction of my and it's not the direction it's the uh, head of my school, the director, to uh, say it's okay for me to create a club and my uh, regular uh, and my and everything is okay with the documents. And uh, during the meetings, I can talk about it uh, to other people. They might ask me any questions. I can answer them or as well as good as I can, uh, as well as if I get any experience, and I hope I will get as much of experience I can from this meeting, I will uh, maybe create, maybe organize some. Uh, that, that's okay. That, that's okay, any, any, that. any other ways uh, of sharing experiences. Uh, the, uh, you you mean with my colleagues as well? Uh, except that that's a good question. 
I, I don't really think about it in the other way than talking or making some projects with this experience. So it's a really hard question to uh, answer for me. That's a scholarship for best students. So I, 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 I know. Questions. I know. That... But that's okay. That's okay because uh, uh, our time hard is... Hard questions are the best out. questions. Uh, now we have uh, uh, like one minute uh, for the feedback uh, coming. Uh, I really like your uh, achievements, Franek, and your passion and ambition to develop yourself. I think it is also clear from our conversation that it is worth thinking about, th thinking about others when you develop yourself, how it uh, spreads to the other people that are around you. This is a question as important as uh, your personal development. I'd like to say thank you for the presentation, for showing us things you're doing. Uh, so big, big thank you. Um, I ask about the group, uh, working in a group, because I think it's it's really important during the scholarship, uh, during the working, during like in, in many projects, various fields. Uh, so that's why I've asked about that. Um, and I think your answer your was was correct. Uh, just recommend you to remember some situations from the life for the next uh, interviews you're gonna have. Uh, Franciszek, if I may advise you anything, uh, the first uh, thing would be uh, be more structured. Uh, I know uh, your mind is like like a free bird, flying very high, uh, which is great. But but please remember that little bit of order and structure uh, will help you, like connecting with us, for example, uh, on time without technical problems, and, uh, then sticking to the schedule during the presentation. Uh, that's the second. And the third one, uh, uh, maybe you shall also work a little bit more on, on your social skills, uh, because I have no doubts uh, you are going to be a great engineer. Uh, but but try to find more ways of communication with, with, with others. Club is great. Social media is also not, ba not bad. Uh, maybe some dinners, uh, maybe some visits or whatever. Uh, but try to find more opportunities uh, to talk with other people and share with them what you have best in yourself. Okay? So, okay. once again, thank you very much. Uh, you will know results in about two months or less. Uh, I, I, I hope uh, you will be satisfied. Thank you very much. Have a nice you. evening. And bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.